Hi guys, gals, Butch from Baker Archery Products. It's been a while, I, I needed to do a demo on a micro adjust on our ball mount vise. This is on a stand. I just made this stand for my demo purposes and stuff. In order to make them and sell them, they'd be outrageous for shipping. But anyway, we got young Henry here today. He's got a new bow and he's gonna help He's gonna set his own bow up. Anyway, we got an HTM string level, Hamsky level, and he's got his uh, his new black gold, I think it's called a 2A sight, with a shrewd scope. So we're gonna set it up, gonna set the, he put new arrows on. So we're gonna level the arrows up, get it all set up, and then we'll go from there. He'll, he'll probably be asking some questions, and I uh, hope he does. Anyway, we're gonna give her a shot, and here we go. Here's Henry. Howdy. All right, so we need to do the arrows first. All right. So we need to go. You can get on the other side. Yeah, I like to see it. Oh, see what I'm doing. We're making sure you're level here, right? All right. Because I moved it a little bit. Touch. So we're pretty level there. So we're making the top of the, look, the arrow level. We have a arrow level deal that I made. Anyway, just putting it on there. Now he's loosened his uh, rest up. What's that rest, Henry? It is a ripcord drive, limb driver. Ripcord limb driver. He picked it up in Vegas. This is his new TRX 38. He picked it up down in Vegas too. Yeah, spent a lot of money over there. Anyway, it seems to have a micro adjust up and down. Doesn't want to stick. There you go. That's good. So now he's got his his arrow perpendicular to his string. Alrighty. So now we need to do... Now he wants to set his second axis on his, on his sight. I'll kind of move you around here a little bit. Take these off? Yeah, you can take those off. Leave the hamski on. Get you a little closer here. Look at that, it's already looks like it's pretty level. It's kind of, uh, you can watch the level. Kind of want to show you how the micro adjust works. You can see the go up and down. So you're watching the hand ski level. It gets into focus. Hard to see in the phone. Anyway, the hand ski's level and uh, the shrewd is level, but just for, just for purposes, it's a little bit out, so we'll, we'll move it around a little bit. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, remember, it's this one right here. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So it's this right here? No, this one right here. Oh, that's right. Okay. This and these two, and there's a, a it was find the right one it's kind of a little thing is i got a magnetic tray on this tool tray that we have nearly everything we need just loosen that just a little bit loosen that a little bit and this is kind of a micro adjust under here see if we can get around here and see the See, watch the level move. Sometimes you gotta move it a little bit and then tighten it back down. That looks pretty good to me. You just Henry's got young eyes. It's his bow too, so we'll decide when <laughs> he's done.
Went pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now we want to do the third axis. All right, so, so this wanna, one was 45. Yeah, we want to rock it down 45. Here, let me see. How's the hand sheet doing? See, I'll move it all the way out. So that's unlevel. Just about right. There. Okay. Now we're off the ham ski level. We're at a 45 degrees, approximately. And uh, he could do a little adjustment there. All right. Third axis is going to be right here. Oh, is these ones? Yeah, it's this one. Third axis helps you up and down shooting. Mm -hmm. down. A lot of people, and, and my myself, you should do it at full draw. However, this gets you straight in the ballpark so you're not completely out. A lot of people will shoot them in. This Hamsky um, bubble level has a big rod here that you can drop back and aim at something level on the plum on the wall or whatever and then kind of adjust accordingly and then then you can shoot it in. But anyway, that's kind of a quick video, kind of demoing the micro adjust with the ball vise. Anyway, let's kind of flip that thing around a little bit, Henry. And so what I meant to do, put that thing off, go down. This is kind of the position that I like it for putting on D-loops and tying in peeps and yeah, for whatever reason, you can work on your mods. And if you want to, just do this and that. Up there, you can work on your sight. Yeah, kind of flip it up there. You old like me, I don't want to bend over very bad. It doesn't bother Henry. Oh, the, the levers are adjustable. You can you pull them up and readjust them to, to put them in the position that you want because this bar will kind of get in the way sometimes if you're flipped up like this. But anyway, the bow will fit in there either way. Like set it back to level and take the bow out. So now he'll flip the bow upside down, stick it back in there. Now you can get to the right side of the site if you're installing the site quiver and also adjust and tighten this back down. Um, let's take the, the bow out. This is my personal one, so it's a little dinged up. I put guns and fishing poles and everything else in there, but anyway, kind of an idea how it works. It's got a shelf system here to keep the front of the riser from hitting the, the threads and the guide rods. This is a quarter inch rubber, a 50 durometer soft, so it won't scratch nothing. I wanna make sure it stays clean though. Anyway, uh, the tool tray is uh, it's steel, so the magnetic tray sticks to it really well. It's got holes to cut in here for putting your Allen wrenches and your screwdrivers and what have you. Anyway, I think that about covers it. Henry's happy. Oh yeah.